Hi, this is Pia Krishnan. Welcome to the 12th edition of RERA from my perspective. In today's discussion, we shall recall the balance important sections carrying forward from the previous video under the act that you should know and be aware of. There are some sections that we have not discussed and which we shall discuss today. So, let us go to the topic right away. Section 18 by far the most important section for us. This slide has been discussed earlier when we were discussing the interest or discussing the role of adjudicating officer or when we were discussing compensation and powers to adjudicate. This is a very important so we shall discuss once again here. We will run through this section quickly. Section 18, the section as we know deals with delay in possession. It has three parts. The first part delay in possession as per agreement or due to revocation of registration as given in section 7. Second part defective land title and the third part fails to meet any other obligation in terms of the agreement. So, these are three big areas under section 18 to deal with the matter. What happens if there is a delay in position as per agreement or due to revocation of registration. So, if the, if the registration is revoked obviously the work cannot happen further and therefore, the position of your flats get delayed and generally there is a delay by the builder. So, there is a delay by the builder in giving possession and otherwise and if his uh, uh, registration is revoked then there is a further delay. So, what happens if in those two circumstances? In those two circumstances you can ask for refund of money that you have paid, you can ask for interest, interest will be we have seen interest calculation which is state bank of India, marginal cost of lending rate plus 2 percent above that rate. So, builder has to compensate that. So, you get your refund money, you get your interest. Okay. Then, this will, uh, this, will, uh, this will be decided by the authority and then they will give it to the adjudicating officer since interest is compensatory in nature. We saw what was compensatory, one which is retrospective is compensatory from the day you have given the payment, one which is uh, prospective is penal. Prospective normally comes out when you are staying in the project not when we are when you are withdrawing when you are withdrawing that is the time when you ask for refund of money compensation originally was equivalent to the rate difference now this was the original plan what is the rate difference you buy a flat you book a flat in let's say uh, one prime area at uh, 8000 rupees per square feet in 2010 that time it was 8000 rupees now till year 2020 he has not given the position so, when you go to book a flat in the same place, the rate per square feet is no more 8000, it is 20000. So, originally it is a plan that difference should be given per square feet, but that was that became a huge matter. Therefore, to that extent compensation has been subjective and being given accordingly. Let me be very frank, you do not get a compensation, compensation beyond 4-5 four, four, lakhs at the maximum when there is a huge delay and denial by the uh, builder sort of a thing. <coughs> okay. So, that was the rate difference, refund of course, refund of money and uh, interest you will get anyways. For the second part of it which is we are saying when there is a defective land title, we saw that the builder is responsible for throughout the <coughs> life and it is for generally for full cost and law of limitation does not apply here it is very specifically stated. So, there is no end to that. So, for this builder is expected to take insurance which we saw in the uh, last slide uh, last video in respect of the land construction of the project and give it to the association of persons association of person means the committee the society. Okay for a lot for the third category which is basically a lot he can claim compensation where the uh, builder fails to meet obligation in terms of agreement 
this is basically for others okay not for delay not for uh, you know title etc for others so in the, those cases like it reduces the compensation uh, amenities or such such, such things so in such cases sh, the lot can be can get compensation for the loss cost okay when there is a title matter it is lifelong liability generally full cost no limitation as i told you but in case of others he can claim compensation uh, this for say reimbursement of rent if he is not if he is delaying and you are staying uh, in a uh, rented place obviously and you want to now claim that rent you are let's say you are paying ema and rent okay let's look at both and is delaying in which case the ema equivalent earlier was supposed to be the in interest and rent was supposed to be compensation but again this have become subjective interest of course has been fixed as sbi mc mclr rate plus 2% but compensation it is very clear subjective and uh, within 1 2 3 lakhs they give and maximum they'll give up to 5 lakhs of course those who are willing to continue can get interest every month that is prospective till he uh, builder hands over the possession that we said was penal in nature now let us look at the next slide we shall discuss some of the sections not important but good to know and some already discussed here section 19 section 19 of course we have discussed that this is the rights and duties of the allotees it this this section completely deals with allotees so four section i have always been uh, talking about 12 14 18 and 19 which you should be knowing of these are the four very important ones let us look at section 39 which we have not looked earlier it says can rectify an order two years so let's see what the section says the authority may at any time within a period of two years from the date of order made under this act with a view to rectifying any mistake apparent from the record amend any order passed by it and shall make such amendment if the mistake is brought to its notice by the party suppose there is a mistake that anybody can make a mistake right human being can make a mistake and if the authorities or make a mistake the judge makes a mistake at that point of time whatever he thought was right he did it but later on realized that there is a mistake so within 2 years if somebody points it out they have the right to amend the order but such a way that it not it does not affect completely maybe a little bit of it but if you completely turn it around then obviously it's a uh, again a one sided and uh, it's a uh, basically affecting the other party very badly so that is not allowed so to some extent they'll correct it or suitably correct it it also says provided that no such amendment shall be made in respect of any order against which an appeal has been preferred under that if of course there is an appeal preferred obviously no um, uh, such a ch amendment or change will happen provided further that the authority shall not while rectifying any mistake apparent from record amend uh, amend substantive substantive part of its order passed under the provisions of this act so that's what we discussed now section 40 this recovery of interest penalty and compensation we have we have had one complete session on this some sub, one complete video just to recall now if a promotee or an allotee of a real estate agent or uh, either a promotee or an allotee or a real estate real estate agent as the case may be fails to pay in interest or penalty or compensation imposed upon him whatever penalty has been imposed upon him or uh, interest or compensation Uh, by the adjudicating officer or the regulatory authority or the appellate authority as the case may under that or the rules under that which is federal government or the rules by the state government it shall be recover recoverable from such people in such manner as may be prescribed under the areas of land revenue which basically means you can have a warrant against the builder and you know uh, take over his uh, take over flats which is under which is your flat or some other flat uh, he can take over or even some land the land uh, land revenue people can take over some of the land if it is uh, allotee then of course your flat will go if it is a uh, agent they will be fined heavily and uh, they have to give otherwise their registration will be cancelled okay second part of this 40 is if any adjudicating officer of the regulatory authority or the appellate tribunal as the case may be issues any order or directs any person if they issue an order or direct any person or 
to do any act or refrain from doing any act that is let us say if they tell the builder you cannot change the children's park for an example, but he still does it. So, build, uh, they say you have to you cannot change and wherever the uh, uh, children's park was there you have to keep it there and you for the place which you want let us say you wanted it for putting up a transformer or something you find another place, but still he puts the transformer in the children's uh, park place and removes the children's park. So, it is he do goes against the directive of the authority okay, which it is empowered under the act of the rules or the rules or regulation made there under because this is something which is uh, under the rules and they have he has been advised such. Then in such case of in case of such failure by any person to comply with such order or direction the same shall be enforced in such manner as may be prescribed they will they can enforce it in any manner it is very open it can be even be confiscation of the land or again land revenue or maybe uh, impose heavy fines okay, or cancel this registration anything can happen. Section 59 which is basically offences penalties we have again discussed this earlier this is section covers offences penalties uh, what are the various offences what are the penalties we have seen 10 percent 5 percent uh, and if you continue at the uh, appellate level another 10 percent will be there then you can get a jail term of 5 percent to 5 uh, 3 years to 5 years all those things we have seen. Section 72 again you must keep in mind we have seen this section under the compensation process uh, AO to confer uh, what basically this was if you remember um, while deciding the compensation they had to decide based on certain factors they are bound by certain factors one was the adjudicating officer will decide whether the builder got any unfair advantage you know by delaying by not doing it by doing something else and second thing what is the amount of loss cost due to default third is of course whether he was, was a repetitive nature Com compiling all these things he would then give a judgment of what should the compensation be. Section 79 80 is we have seen this also in the uh, where we, are, we have said that all civil courts are barred and every every complaint between allotty and builder from both sides has and has to go to only RERA. They cannot go to civil courts directly even if it goes to civil court it has to they will direct you back to RERA and if it is a criminal case also it they will direct you to RERA, RERA will file a criminal course case if required, if required after ascertaining. So, that is very very clear section 88 this also we have covered in, uh, in the earlier parts section 88 what it say it says it, this entire thing the act is in addition not in derogation which, uh, which effectively means while MOFA exists it can still exist RERA will come in when both the uh, say, uh, act has the same set of rules and principles. So, both will be the same, but where MOFA and RERA differs RERA will sub, uh, subsume uh, MOFA. So, RERA becomes more uh, current act to be implemented and MOFA will not be there. So, that is how it is 89 this uh, this only says that uh, this uh, this also we, uh, we have covered the provision of this act says shall have effect notwithstanding anything inconsistent therewith. So, if there is anything inconsistent still this act shall prevail. So, this act is based have been done a lot of research everything has been studied and therefore, this act will remain uh, one cannot change it. So, friends uh, today we close the video here keep this handy as it covers most sections and you must keep this in mind keep recalling this video and the previous one where we have covered all the important points one needs to know there are many many uh, points, but these are the important ones which you should know which will be very handy when you start if there is any issues for you. With this I conclude today's video today we recall the second part of the important sections and some of the new sections we learned.
ok please uh, do uh, ok in, in the next video we shall discuss additional features of RERA it is very important to note that the change that has happened which it is also a part like a recalling but uh, there will be a lot of changes which we are not seen in the earlier features we discussed many we had initially discussed so these are the balanced ones we will discuss plus some of them we will recall we will discuss all this in the next video this again as i told you is very important please do leave a comment and if you have liked the video please do not forget to subscribe and I will also request you can also share this video with others so that they also get to gain knowledge on the subject. Thank you so much.